Hi everyone, this is finding reference angles in radians. And the ones we're going to do are a little harder than normal. We're looking for a reference angle again is an acute angle in between zero and it's an acute angle between um, zero and pi over two. And remember that the quadrandals are not reference angles. So um, I already did the video before this. We're finding reference angles in degrees. So put the formulas here that you use, and let's look at some examples. I'm going to do six examples. So right here we have 16 pi over 11. So I know my reference angle is going to be in between um, 0 and pi over 2. So what I'm going to do, we know this is 0 pi over 11. This would be 5.5 um, pi over 11, because that would give you pi over 2. This would be 11 pi over 11. Now, this side over here is also 22 pi over 11, because that gives you 2 pi. So what I do is I take the midpoint of these two to find this one. So I just add 22 plus 11 over 2, and that's going to give me 16.5 over 11. So I know I'm very close to here. Very close. I didn't make it close, but there we go. So my reference angle is going to be going up in here. So all I'm going to do, I know that I'm in quadrant 3, so I use my formula uh, for quadrant 3. That's going to be um, pi minus theta. So, no, it's theta minus pi, sorry. No, it's pi minus, no, it's, oh, what is it? So quadrant 3 is theta minus pi. So we're going to do theta minus pi. My theta is 16 pi over 11 minus pi. That's my pi, 11 pi over 11. Gives me 5 pi over 11, which makes sense because we were off by a half on this. So 5 pi over 11 is very close to to here and that's your reference angle. The next one we're going to do is 9 pi over 2. I know right away that here to get 2 pi this would be 8 pi over 2. No this would be 4 pi over 2 sorry. This would be 4 pi over 2 and so I know right away that this is not in between 0 and 2 pi. So what I'm going to do is subtract 4 pi over 2 and make a coterminal angle. When I do that, I get 5 pi over 2. Well, that's still bigger than 4 pi over 2, so I'm going to subtract uh, 4 pi over 2 again. And that gives me pi over 2. And we have pi over 2. That's a quadrandal. Your quadrandals are 0, pi over 2, pi, 3 pi over 2, and 2 pi. There's no reference angles for those, so the reference angle for 9 pi over 2 does not exist. And just for drawing purposes, what 9 pi over 2 looks like, basically it's 2 pi plus another 2 pi plus pi. So that's that's 9 pi over 2. The next one we're going to do is 16, negative 16 pi over 7. Right away I know that that's not in between 0 and 2 pi. So um, 0 and 2 pi in this term would be, um, with 7 in the denominator, would be 14 pi 
over 7. So I'm going to add 14 pi over 7, and you get negative 2 pi over 7. And I'm going to add another 14 pi over 7, because we're still not in the range. And that gives me 12 pi over 7. All right, so I this definitely is not in quadrant one. And what I'm going to do is just kind of write out my quadrantal angles here with 7 as the denominator. So we have 0, and then this would be 14 pi over 7 for my 2 pi. Over here, erase this a little, this would be 7 pi over 7. And then to find um, Um, I'm not even going to bother with this one. So I've got to find out, does it lie in quadrant 3 or quadrant 4? And you know the midpoint, the 12, it's going to be more closer to um, th what we're looking for. The 12 is going to be in quadrant 4. So I'm not, not even going to take the midpoint because I know it's that's closer to 14 than 7. So I'm going to use 2 pi, my formula for quadrant 4. That's 2 pi minus um, 12 pi over 7, which is 14 pi over 7 minus 12 pi over 7, which gives me 2 pi over 7. And that's definitely in the first quadrant. So that's my reference angle. Next one I have is negative 11 pi over 6. And so I'm going to add 12 pi over 6. That gives me pi over 6. Pi over 6 belongs to quadrant 1. So pi over 6 is my reference angle. Okay, the next one I have is, um, just go to a number page. I um, have 36 pi over 13. I know my 2 pi is 26 pi over 13. Um, so I'm going to get 10 pi over 13. So I know that this is workable because... 12, uh, 10 pi over 13 is in between, I shouldn't have put an equal there, it's in between 0 and 26 pi over 13. So I'm going to get a quick, try to figure out what quadrant we're in. I know this is 0 and then 20, uh, 26 pi over 13. I know this is 13 pi over 13. So I know it's, so I don't even need this really. I know it's between 0 and 13, and so I know it's going to be in quadrant 2 because um, the midpoint between 0 and 13, 13 divided by 2 is 6.5. So I know it's in quadrant 2 somewhere. And so all I'm going to do is use the formula for quadrant 2 and take my um, pi minus my uh, angle for quadrant 2. So it's 13 pi over pi minus um, 10 pi over 13, and that gives me 3 pi over 13. All right. The last one I'm going to do is 8 pi over 5. Well, this is already smaller than 10 pi over 5. 10 pi over 5 is 2 pi. So now I just have to figure out what quadrant I'm in. I don't have to make it coterminal. I know this is uh, 0 
uh, 10 pi over 5. I know that this is 5 pi over 5. So I know it's in this area here. The midpoint between 10 and 5 is 7.5 pi over 5. So I know it's in quadrant 4. Because it's going to go around here. And there is my angle. So what we're going to have is... Um, 360, or not 360, but 2 pi minus 8 pi over 5. This is 10 pi over 5 minus 8 pi over 5, and this equals 2 pi over 5, and that would be my reference angle. I hope this video helps.